Tonight, the health department is calling out one of the city's oldest Chinese restaurants. The West Side favorite has been warned to clean up its act or face an administrative hearing. NBC4 investigative reporter Tom Susi dishes out the dirty in his up to code report. Micah Colling, this restaurant has been around longer than some of us have. It opened its doors in 1956, 62 years ago. The recipient of this warning letter, take a look. Ding Ho, here on Philippi Road on the city's west side. Any, anytime I see a warning letter, I have to check it out. The Franklin County Public Health Department issued Ding Ho this warning letter for repeat uncorrected violations and or failure to maintain sanitary conditions. During a recent inspection here, inspectors uncovered 24 violations, seven of them critical. Like large amounts of food in the walk-in cooler uncovered or not wrapped. Ice machine and tubs used for making egg rolls in need of thorough cleaning. Mouse dropping spotted throughout the facility. In the report, the inspector wrote, facility needs to be thoroughly cleaned. Little rough. Stephen Yi is a little protective of Ding Ho. His family has owned it for three generations. It's uh, surprising, but you know, it is, you know, the health department, you got to do what they say. Yi tells me he's doing just that. This past uh, weekend, I took a rented hot power washer and went through the whole kitchen and everything else. And as for those mouse droppings, the inspector says he spotted in Yi's restaurant. No. There's, there's some uh, issues we have with that in the past, but Equal Lab, our company, has taken care of it. Ding Ho will soon have a follow-up inspection. I posted a copy of that inspection for you on our webpage at NBC4i.com. I'm NBC4 investigator Tom Susie.